My first job for the Texas Forest Service was a clerk in the Information and Education Department. And that first job was very at the bottom of the food chain. I just distributed out Smoky Bear packets and put together information packets, education packets, whatever was needed by the information officers and sent them out to teachers or whoever requested in, answered the phone, that kind of thing. I didn't stay there maybe but about a year because I realized that I really wasn't a very good secretary. <laughs> I could do it, but it was not something I liked. And I was offered a position in the business office. That's what it was called then. And it was in accounts payable. And I had a whole raise of about eight cents. And so that was major for me at that time. And I moved on into the business office. And after time, I realized that the fiscal arena was more my niche and I enjoyed it. And I seem to have excelled maybe there. I went through several positions, started off as an AP clerk, processing payments and payments to vendors where Texas Forest Service owed money to and worked through the ranks on that, ended up being the accounts payable supervisors with several employees and student workers underneath me and moved, stayed there quite a while, but that position actually encompassed a lot of things. And eventually, I was offered a position in the director's office. I'd lived my life in the arena of administration and the fiscal end of administration. But of course, in those years, the Texas Forest Service did not have a chief financial officer. That position or those responsibilities landed with the associate director, whichever one was there at the time. And both Bruce Miles and Jim Hull supervised the business office. And so I tended to work quite a bit with both of those because of that. 